This is perceptual organization in five minutes or less. As the modern psychology for AP textbook asks, how do we organize and interpret our sensations so that they become meaningful perceptions? We come to Gestalt psychology. Gestalt was introduced by Christine von Enfels, though he did not come up with the idea on his own. Gestalt means form or whole. Basically, it means the whole is different or more than the sum of its parts. We'll start with figure ground. When we take in an image or scene, our brain has to decipher between what is important and what is background information. The object is the figure, the thing that we focus on. The ground is the background, whatever is less important at the moment. In this famous optical illusion, the figure and ground reverse based on how you look at it. You may see a vase. The white becomes the ground. Shift your gaze just slightly and you'll see two faces. These become the figure and the black vase becomes the ground. In this image of the wonderful Lauren, we can distinguish the bricks as the background and her as the figure. Next, we'll get into grouping. Grouping is how we organize stimuli into meaningful groups. There are five major ways to group things together. Four of them are shown here. We have proximity, similarity, continuity, connectedness, and closure, which is one of the ones not shown here. We'll start with proximity. Proximity is the way in which we group nearby figures. This image is made up of people. However, the way in which they are displayed so close to each other creates the figure of a tree. This picture also brings in closure, but we'll get to that later. Here, we have a real-life example of proximity. You probably see it every day when you come into school. How can you tell which groups are together? By how close they're standing together. Here, we'll point a few out to you. Similarity. We like to put similar figures together. Here, the X's and O's are easily seen in columns and not rows of alternating shapes. In this image, you can divide the bricks into two groups by color or into three groups by the direction they lay. Lastly, when you're at a game, how do you decipher who's on what team and who has the ball? By the color of their uniforms, of course. Continuity. There is a repeated shape here, a semicircle that is altering over a line. But it's really easier to see two lines, one straight and one wavy intersecting. In this crosswalk, you could think of the bricks individually, but why bother? It is much easier to see them as one red line rather than in the dragon lines they form within it. And in this picture of the school windows, the lines that are separated them are cut into pieces according to the panels of glass. But you see them as one line, not intersecting lines or lines that stop and start over. Closure. Even though these figures have gaps in them, your brain easily fills them in to create an image we understand. In parking lots, closure is used in the form of signs on the pavement. Even though the word lane is broken up into pieces, you can still read it. And even though this sign is broken up, you can still understand that it's a person in a wheelchair, indicating handicap parking. Connectedness. Here, we perceive the dots as single units of two dots connected by lines. Try to imagine each dot as its own piece and the bars as separate. It doesn't make sense, does it? If you look closely at the school lockers, the hinges are actually broken apart, but when you look at them, you only really see them as one line. A similar effect is seen when you look at the sidewalk. You could see it as consecutive slabs of concrete or as one long line. In fences such as this one, you could look at each rectangular panel or you could simply see it as a long line of metal. So now test yourself a little bit. What grouping principles are at work in this crop circle? Continuity. Try again. What about this one? Again, it's continued enclosure. Here's a solution. The angle of the photo causes confusion, so the brain tries to make sense of it by finishing the lines and closing the gaps. And that's perceptual organization for you through figure ground and gestalt.